Hello and welcome to Erin Lee's Beauty. I'm Erin and today is the day of the week. We're going to be going over everything I've been using this past week and talking about it and giving it kind of like a little review. I know I just realized a couple days ago that I actually missed last week's review, which I haven't done in a long time, so I do apologize. However, I do have quite a few things to go over with you today and some photos as well. I was going to do the Alicia Keys skincare today but I feel like I need to wait one more week with that so I can get some more better results to show you guys but uh, the first thing I want to review is from this from the ColourPop it's meant to be palette now I really like this and I found it to be a really good palette a couple of the the colors were really powdery and not as easy to work with, but overall, as a whole, this is a really good palette, and I was able to make some really cute looks using this palette, so I like it, and I do believe it was recently priced. I think it was originally like $14, and they have sales all the time on their website, and I got it for like 7 bucks, so definitely worth the money. This On Cloud Blue palette... So I really did enjoy this because I like the different shades of blue that it has in here. I do wish it had a couple more darker tones to work with just to kind of smoke it out a little bit. But you do have that one dark color right there that you can really use to smoke it out. But we have like sky blues, ocean blues, shimmers. It's just a really good palette. I also like this one as well. But honestly, my favorite out of the three is this Cloud Spun palette. It is super cute, and I've used it on a bunch of different people. Um, it's just good for, like, an everyday, like, soft glam look. So this is a keeper for me, for sure. One of my faves. Especially if you don't have a lot of pinks, it's good to add something like that in your collection. And then the item in my Element palette. So this palette I really did like. The only one that really didn't work for me was this really orangey shade right here. And it's just because it doesn't look right with my skin tone. But other than that, like the pigments and everything are really easy to work with, really easy to blend. This one is my favorite right here. It's so creamy, so buttery. It's the only one like it in the whole palette. Just an amazing shade. And I know I already swatched them, but I just have to show you that this one here is just absolutely stunning. I love it to death. And it's like... really pretty okay and then I got um, my Medusa's makeup which I didn't unbox this week on online I just kind of unboxed it to myself I think it was my last Medusa's makeup that I have if not this month will be my last month but it's a halo glow stick and I have tried one of these before in a different shade and I absolutely love it uh, I think the other one was like tiger lily or something like that but this one's in the shade bubbly and they're supposed to be like highlighters but they're definitely like more cream blushes to me just by the shades that they are and I'll just do a swatch for you I mean you could definitely tell like it does have like a little sheen in it but they're really pretty colors and you can blend it out to a really nice pretty blush I really like soft pink color so I really like that um, and then I have these eyeliners from ColourPop which I thought were okay especially for the money uh, this was supposed to be more like a blue color. It's su such a deep navy blue. It almost looks black. So it's almost like what's the point of putting it on. I wish it was a little bit more blue looking. But other than that, it's a pretty decent eyeliner. Um, this white, however, like I really like it and everything. I just haven't been able to perfect a look using the white eyeliner yet. It's a little bit tricky for me. But it's something that I'll continue to work on and present looks later on if I can get it down which I'm hoping I can, but that's actually everything I had for reviews today. I have a bunch of stuff coming next week for the Alicia Keys skincare. Just stay tuned for that to see how that's been working. That's everything I had for this video today. I'm Erin. Thank you so much for watching.